How the Inuit Heat Their Homes at 84 Borader, 64 Arger, Episode 2. Indigenous Arctic Innovation, Surviving with Fire, Snow, and Tradition. Small Arctic settlements, modern homes, satellite dishes, snowmobiles parked outside. Today, many Inuit live in permanent settlements, homes with wooden frames, diesel heating, and satellite internet. Yet even with access to modern conveniences, the design and functionality often draw on traditional principles. These homes are elevated to prevent permafrost thaw, painted in light colors to reflect sunlight, equipped with arctic entryways. Double door systems to trap warm air. Some homes still keep a kulik, not just as memory, but as a backup for storms and power outages. The warmth it brings remains unmatched in its efficiency and cultural depth. Community igloo construction for festivals, thermal camera views, airflow diagrams, the igloo is still built, not just as a symbol, but as a living tool. Young Inuit learn to judge snow density by sound shape blocks for a self-supporting spiral vent and orient the entrance for optimal heat retention. Engineering students from around the world come to study these structures. Why? Because the science is timeless. The igloo represents zero energy passive architecture, a shelter that heats, insulates and breathes without external power. It inspires sustainable designs in polar research stations, space habitats and minimalist architecture. Kulik, spiritual hearth of the Arctic. Woman lighting kulik during celebration, elders chanting flame flickering. The kulik is more than a lamp, it's the soul of the home. In Inuit tradition, it symbolizes life. It provides light and warmth to motherhood, traditionally tended by women. During births, deaths, and community gatherings, the kulik is lit as a reminder that warmth isn't just physical, it's emotional, communal. Keeping it alive is keeping tradition alive. Thermal scans, University researchers with Inuit guides, comparative testing of housing. Modern science now recognizes what the Inuit have practiced for millennia. Studies by polar researchers confirm seal oil emits steady BTUs with minimal moisture. Caribou fur outperforms most engineered fibers. These findings are reshaping Arctic engineering. Indigenous science, once dismissed, is being embraced as hyperlocal, climate optimized knowledge. And it's not just theory. It's saving lives, especially as energy costs and climate threats increase. Youth workshops, children sewing parkas, families building igloos together. Across Nunavut, Alaska, and Greenland, communities are reviving traditional knowledge. Programs teach how to build a qualic, how to make fuel from fat, how to sew snowproof clothing, how to construct temporary igloos for survival emergencies. Youth document the process with smartphones. Elders guide with wisdom. Generations connect through fire, snow, and stories. It's not about the past, it's about future readiness. The kind you can't learn from an app. Eco-homes in Inuit villages, hybrid snow shelters, wind-powered heating systems. Inuit innovation continues. New homes use aerogel insulation modeled after snow walls, solar-heated passive rooms designed with igloo dynamics, wind-powered heating units in remote tundra villages, Designers blend old and new, building homes that can withstand blizzards and store warmth with zero emissions. But the soul of heating in the Arctic remains unchanged. Community, simplicity, and deep respect for nature. Conclusion. Warmth. As culture, not just temperature. Families around a kulik, aurora above igloos, voice of a child reading, to heat a home in 84 degree or three, is to understand the cold, not fight it. It's to work with snow, animal, and spirit, not against them. The Inuit have always known that warmth isn't only in the fire. It's in the lamp passed from mother to daughter. It's in the breath of the reindeer. It's in the shared laughter inside a dome of ice. This is more than survival. This is harmony between climate, culture, and ingenuity. And it burns bright, even at the coldest edge of Earth. Many thanks for watching and please like, subscribe.